Hello YouTube, it's PC Program Builder here. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a fake Steam game adder in Whistle Basic 2008 and uh, 2010. First open Whistle Basic. Now create a new project. Name it wherever. I just call it Steam Game Adder. The first thing I'm gonna do is to make the form border style to none. I set the background color to black. Then I'm gonna add a menu strip. And uh, make the background color on the menu to orange. Now I'm gonna add a button and uh, the name of the button will be X and I uh, just gonna select another font now I copy this and make the other to online this is to minimize your application First thing you're gonna do is double click on the exit button and type in me.close. It's a very simple code. You can also type in end if you want. On the mini base, you type in window state equals form window state dot minimized. Here's the code to that. And uh, now I gonna add a progress bar. And uh, a combo box. And uh, here I'm gonna type in the games. I just type in examples now. We take these games and uh, okay. Now we're gonna resize this, and now we're gonna add a button and uh, make the name of the button to uh, import game games uh, because I'm gonna add a. Uh, checkbox too if they wanna select all games
like this and now I'm gonna add uh, a label and another label and I'm gonna make another font on it and uh, select another force color I'm gonna select white now we're gonna rename label 1 to username and uh, label 2 to password now we're gonna add uh, two text boxes I just gonna find it now we're gonna select the uh, password charge on uh, password so it looks uh, more real gonna resize this it look like this now now we're gonna change the text on the combo box to games if they don't see it now I'm gonna make this to disable to false and I'm gonna add a timer and I'm gonna create a new form Oh, uh, I delete this form. I get a better idea. So now I uh, double click on import games button and type in timer one dot start. If you make the interval on uh, the timer to fifty, the progress bar will go faster. If it if you go higher, two hundred, three hundred and uh, so it will go uh, slower so it's very simple so now I gonna double click on timer 1 and here I'm gonna type in some codes you can download the source code uh, in the description I gonna make a direct link to it so now I type in some codes I gotta make the interval on the timer to uh, 350 so it looks more real and uh, I just forgot type in timer one dot stop if I don't if I forget that it will comes up uh, very much message boxes so uh, don't forget timer one dot stop. So uh, I must type in uh, I need to show the progress bar and uh, 
I'm gonna type in progress bar one dot value equals null and uh, now I gonna double click on the form and go up here and type in the following code you gonna type in the code right here under public class format so now I type in it. this will do so you can draw around this form and uh, now I gonna add uh, a label I just forgot that and uh, type in And I'm gonna change the font there too, and uh, force color to black, and the back color to orange. And uh, now we debug it. And uh, here's the program. So uh, now I just uh, type in uh, username, whatever, and a password, and I'm gonna select a game, and if you click here, you select all games, and uh, now import games. Oh, I almost forgot. Time one would start. I'm gonna make uh, this to progress bar one dot show. So now it's gonna work. You can run around this if you can mim memorize it and uh, you can uh, if you click here you close it but I don't do that now so I just type in a username again and a password and I select a game and uh, here I select all games and import games you see the progress bar will start Now we're just waiting. And here it comes up. Completed. Games added. Okay. And uh, the progress bar will go to zero. And if you want to make it more difficult, you type in progress bar one dot hide. So now I just gonna select the ti timer on uh, interval uh, to 50. So you can see uh, what's happening uh, with the progress bar. You see, uh, now it works uh, faster if you have a smaller volume. And now, games added and the progress bar is gone. So uh, you can do it again and again and again and again. So, it works. Thanks for watching my video and uh, please subscribe to my channel. Rate and comment on my video too. And uh, the source code uh, will be in the description. So you can easily download it from the direct link. And uh, that's all. See you guys. Bye.